Kinky Facts About Sex in Ancient Egypt Ancient Egypt, a civilization rich in history and culture, also harbored a fascinating and distinctive perspective on sexuality. While modern Western notions of pleasure and propriety might starkly differ from those of ancient Egyptians, their sexual practices were far from what one might imagine. Delving into the intricacies of their views and practices reveals a realm of surprising openness, unique rules, and even divine connections. Animals in Art and Myth Ancient Egyptians possessed a distinctive perspective on sexual depictions, one that differed significantly from contemporary sensibilities. Visual representations of animals engaging in sexual acts were deemed less offensive than similar depictions involving humans. This divergence in attitudes stems from the reverence ancient Egyptians held for animals and their deep connection to their gods and goddesses often represented in animal forms. Thus, what may appear as bestiality in hieroglyphics could very well be a symbolic representation of human-to-human -human intercourse. Necrophilia and embalming. The ancient practice of mummification, though steeped in ritual, also harbored darker stories. While the process of mummification was a widely known and respected practice, not all embalmers followed the ethical guidelines. Rumors circulated about embalmers engaging in necrophilia, with accounts of some being involved in inappropriate relations with the deceased. To counter this, families delayed entrusting the bodies of their beautiful deceased members, allowing some decomposition to occur before mummification. This macabre practice aimed to deter any such misconduct. Birth Control Innovations Intriguingly, ancient Egyptians displayed a surprising level of sophistication when it came to birth control methods. Evidence suggests that they used various techniques to control family planning. Among these methods, a mixture of acacia tree sap and other substances was applied to the womb as a form of barrier contraceptive. Moreover, a diaphragm-like device, crafted from crocodile dung, dates, acacia, and honey, offered another avenue of contraception. This demonstrates the extent to which ancient Egyptians desired control over their reproductive lives. Cleopatra's Ingenious Device Cleopatra, the legendary queen of Egypt, is associated with a peculiar tale involving innovation in sexual pleasure. It's said that Cleopatra created a makeshift vibrator using bees. By placing bees inside a hollowed out gourd or papyrus box, the vibrations caused by their movement offered a unique form of stimulation. While this story remains more of a myth than a verifiable fact, it showcases the creativity and ingenuity with which people approached sexual exploration even in ancient times, taboos and myths. Ancient Egyptian society held its fair share of taboos and myths surrounding sexual conduct. Notably, incestuous relationships were prevalent among gods, goddesses, and royalty. While the majority of the population refrained from such practices, royalty often married their siblings in emulation of the divine figures they revered. Unfortunately, these unions led to genetic defects and health issues among the offspring, as evident in the case of King Tutankhamun. Attitudes towards virginity. Unlike many ancient cultures, the concept of virginity held minimal importance in ancient Egypt. Premarital relations were relatively common and accepted between unmarried individuals. Marrying a virgin didn't carry the same significance as in Roman culture, which placed a strong emphasis on female virginity. Ancient Egyptians considered married women especially sacred, making extramarital affairs a grave moral and social taboo. Infidelity and punishments. Infidelity was a serious transgression in ancient Egyptian society, particularly for married women. 
Engaging in an extramarital affair could result in severe consequences, including whipping, mutilation, or even execution for both parties involved. While a married man who pursued relations with an unmarried woman faced societal shame, the consequences were far less dire. Myths of creation and masturbation. Ancient Egyptian myths took a unique approach to the creation of gods and goddesses. In the myth of Atum, the first god, he created himself from nothing and later masturbated to give birth to other deities. This portrayal imbued male self-pleasure with a divine significance, and even rituals involving ceremonial masturbation existed. Erotic imagery and sexual artifacts. While not particularly progressive in terms of sexual imagery, ancient Egyptians did create some adult material. The Turin erotic papyrus is a famous example, depicting various sexual acts in a series of vignettes. However, experts believe this wasn't intended for arousal, but rather served as a form of satire or commentary on human behavior, divine myth, and sexual acts. Ancient Egyptian myths often intertwined sexual acts with divine stories, such as the myth of Seth and Horus. This myth involved male genitalia and complex power dynamics between the gods. Through creative storytelling, the myth explored themes of sexuality, origin, and dominance. In conclusion, exploring the sexual practices and beliefs of ancient Egypt unveils a complex tapestry of attitudes, taboos, and ingenuity. The civilization's distinctive perspectives on sexuality, birth control, and pleasure continue to captivate and challenge our modern understanding of human intimacy. Thanks for watching Story and Motivation.